Hello everybody, my name is Dan and I'm with Accidental Genius. I'm playing Alice Madness Returns and I love this game. Uh, this is my first time playing it on the computer, I'll play it on normal. I played the crap out of this game on the Xbox. No, of course not, what do you think I am, a jet? Uh, I'm gonna skip this opening. If you wanna... If you wanna see this opening for yourself, you'll have to... Get the game for yourself. There's... I have my reasons for skipping it. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Softly specific. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me... Skip it. Sure. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. I can't find the door. So, this is actually the sequel. I deserve my tears. Want some? This is actually the sequel to uh, American McGee's Alice, which came out a while ago. Oh, I'm having a hard time with the camera here. Ten years in the loony bin. Mode. No, Ma, no relation. She's an orphan. Whoa. So, in these scenes, you can go first person. Normally, it's a third person Another day. platformer, a dream, combat, adventure game. I don't know what genre of game you would group this under. It's interesting. Wow. Wow. Of course, she's going to follow a cat, like usual. Going after him. Uh, the first. No, shut up. The first Alice game was. Uh, it's it's cool because the the whole point of this was to take a a darker, more gothic take on Alice in Wonderland, and they succeeded greatly. This is probably the greatest version of Alice in Wonderland I've ever seen. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Vice. So as you'll see, Alice is a little bit more of a psychotic looking individual. She looks a little troubled. And of course there's usually the occasional freaky as shit thing. And they're everywhere. And they're behind you. And they're all around you. And you don't know what to do. My stars and garters. Holy Alice crap. Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. I don't know Twice what I'd rather see, months. the old lady or the... Out on your own. Bug you rabbit things. Frazzled, Not doing well. That's gotta be the Not biggest really. nose I've ever seen in my Come life. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Is that supposed to be a Our compliment? Last it cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Your mangy rabbit. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years oh, of God. Rutledge asylum oh. wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her quest. I really like these cutscenes. The fire. Her memory. I it's an interesting art style. Don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her Bring me my hunter. alcohol and Heard I'll let you say, pet my oh, pigeons. Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good, good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her. So I'd you know where the rabbit is, but you tell her that you might recall. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't remember her name? What I heard. So yeah, as you can tell, she's a little, a little bit disturbed. Her whole family was killed in a fire, and she blames herself. Press C to view everything. Interesting. Nurse Witless 
Do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? Yes. I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. What? Need a drink. You okay, lady? One man so needs weapon. I can't recall her looking like that. And of course, they couldn't go without the infamous descent into Wonderland scene. So it's a little different this time around. And we'll give her a proper dress and we'll be on our way. So also, as you'll notice, the difference between regular Alice in Wonderland and this one. She's still got that gothic look. A little bit of blood on her dress. Skull is the centerpiece for her bow. She's wearing black and white striped leggings with uh, almost, yeah, pretty much knee-high boots. A couple of symbols on her dress. The physics seems to be a little buggy right there, but we'll take it. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. Now, I don't... About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Treasure cat's a <laughs> more desirable when version. you're not on edge, you're so taking up too much space. Goofy thing that he was you're before. No help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this I love how they gave him a piercing, it's too. Like, oh, you just had to complete the look. Get whisk here. <laughs> you be on your guard. A veil of tears. Now, it's never really clear... Oh, camera's a little crazy. It's never really clear as to... Whether this is all just in her head, or if she's actually gone to Wonderland. It's a memory. You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. I do, huh? Space bar to jump. She does jump really freaking high. Fill of tears. Jump again. Ooh. Jump twice. And twirl. Let's see. I'll take that. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. So I guess she was just jumping from the table all the time. Please, you're far too reckless. Stop jumping off the table. I can't, Mother. I love it. I'll take that. I'll take it! Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. Oh. Drink me. It's a fountain of drink me. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. It's in order. My god! I'm shrinking in this potion! Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah! I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. I see. Hmm, yes. Hmm. I knew that. Left control to shrink. Wow. Pick that up. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. What's that supposed to be? Shrink! I like how they use the keyholes. It's just everything about this game is just cool. It's all just incredible. 
so you can regain your health while you're in these things. And then they drop these things called, uh, I, I don't know, teeth. Yeah, you collect teeth in this game. As if it weren't psychotic enough. Teeth. Whoa. Alright. Where am I going? Alright. Keyhole. Warning. Creatures. There's a memory here. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Whoa, it just kind of appeared. I'll just fly up into the air and, uh, a little reminiscent of, uh, Super Mario 64. Get more teeth. And more teeth. Just keep collecting the teeth. The teeth! Take the teeth! Oh, the, the teeth! Okay, whoa. All right, uh, Veil of Tears appears to be a little different this time around. Uh, dead dragon. The Vorpo blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. So it's cool, cause in the first American McGee's Alice, they just it was just. I've not come back here looking for a fight. This is kind really? of a butcher's That's knife. That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. And I think, I think they did call it the Vorpal Blade, but I don't think it was as prominent. The Vorpal Blade inflicts the swiftest damage. So now I can just kind of... So it's funny because it's implied that that dragon carcass was the Jabberwocky. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alex. Choose your battles wisely. Let me just collect all of these teeth. All the missing teeth. I'll take it all, thank you very much. The first enemy, the insidious ruin. Caps lock to focus on an enemy. Oh, that's a interesting choice. Alright. I am gonna have to work on this camera movement. Come on now. Quit that laughing. You stop you. You will stop you laughing. I gotta pause it. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. Goodbye!